So we're here at the junction of Frontage Road and uh, Highway 12 slash 95 and uh, one of the Wild Idaho Rising Tide protesters was out in the median trying to photograph this load going through. Some cops giving them all kinds of hell. Who knows why. But this is the very longest load that's ever uh, come through northern Idaho. 311 feet long, hauled by big crane and rigging. Uh, it looks like they just got one pull truck and then a trailer and then the actual girdle that has a big old hydro cracker inside of it. Hard to see much of anything. I apologize because of the cop lights, of course. Uh, and then you can sort of see the back end, the push truck right there. Uh, you got the big old pulp mill across the river behind it. Another push truck not, not connected or two of them coming up and bringing up the rear. But yeah, there's the front of it. Already made the turn the other side of the road. You see the hydro cracker. That's just the bottom third of a hydro cracker. Going to a 100% tar sands refinery in Great Falls, Montana. Closest U.S. tar sands refinery to the Alberta tar sands mines. A big old American flag on the front truck. Sort of seen that way. There you can see the hydro cracker. You can hear that push truck behind it really straining. The Omega Morgan load that came through in October 2013. As you can see, they got this whole lane all blocked off. This is the eastbound lane of Highway 12 slash 95. And uh, yeah, there's the load right across the way. That's about all we get for opposition to a petition for a stay and reconsideration that I should be completely ignored. Submitted on a Friday evening or Friday afternoon, right before close of business. Now it's Sunday night. Oh, probably going on midnight, and uh, didn't stop the load at all. They didn't even have the common courtesy to uh, acknowledge our uh, our submission, and the load went anyway on the weekend with uh, ITD having made all kinds of violations in issuing the permit. So there you have it, folks.